Tell me a little bit about what it is that you do exactly. Yes. So, <laughs> okay. So I started out with doing my um, Associate of Arts degree in Design Architecture from Newport Beach, California. Okay. And uh, my husband's work brought us to Virginia. I was working as an interior designer with a very nice interior design firm in McLean. And I think that's how I met you years back, I yeah. remember. <laughs> and I was always running after realtors, right? Because buyers, when they're buying the property, they might want to get things done. Sellers want to update the property before they are selling for the top dollar and all that stuff. And then one day I was like, you know what? I'm always running after these people. If I get my license, I am in a much better situation to assist my clients. And uh, that's how it just started. So, you know, I got my license and uh, got started with real estate. And uh, definitely I was working with my design clients at that time. But then, you know, once you start getting feel of it, if you love contracts, if you love everything real estate, you know, you just cannot do two things. Yeah. So I had to move away from the design business to uh, concentrate more on real estate business. But you still pull in those aspects of the I, design. I, I do. I do. Right? Yes. All the time. That's awesome. All the time. And, you know, so now I I actually, so I know, like, I do interior design. So I have that, that eye that, you know, can make things pop out and look good that way. But, and then, you know what, I was doing it again in real estate for my real estate clients. You know, when it comes to selling the properties, I was doing it on my own. But then I was like you know what? No, it's not working out. It's so much of time. But then then I partnered out with the other designers in the area. And now I have one, which is like, you know, in-house designer. She understands my choices. She knows what I'm looking for. Yeah. And, uh, you know, we work together. So I'm That's really awesome. happy, like, you know, how I started with design. And, you know, um, like, you know, Morphed. yes, <laughs> evolved. That, yes, yes, yes. That's awesome. Yes. So, tell me a little bit. How have you navigated some of the changes over the last four years as an agent? Oh, because yes. it was really yeah. good. Things were really good a few years ago, right? Uh, right, right. And you know what? Honestly, things are still good. Nothing so, good. you know, I mean, uh, I don't know what the national news is saying, but. I'm talking about the local market because yes. that's where my business is. That's where I'm either selling properties or helping the buyers. So the market has not stopped. Like Virginia is one of those hot spots where, you know, people are relocating, right? And uh, they want to buy houses. They want to enjoy, like, you know, that... Um, rolling scapes of Loudoun County, yes. want to be near to Middleburg, get that old town, Leesburg, downtown feel, and then still be able to commute to D.C. or Tyson's for their job. So the market has not stopped here. Uh, the interest rates have not stopped the buyers yet. Still, like, you know, representing buyers, we go through the multiple offer scenarios where the interest rates have shoot up to, like, 8%. Uh, as far as to answer your question, like, you know, uh, how, like, definitely when the COVID hit, it was different, right? Like, I think everything was becoming more online, like your online presence and like, you know, people trusting you in the business because they don't want to come and see it, yeah. right? Uh, they have small kids or uh, they have like, you know, parents in the house. They're scared they might get something, but at the same time, they know they want to outgrow from that small space. They do not want to miss that opportunity. So you have like, you know, you need to have that trust relationship with your clients where they actually trust you. So when you are doing those videos with them, they know exactly what they are looking into yeah. right so from there coming back to going and seeing the houses now from there there was a time where literally 
like you know you couldn't get showing appointments because after COVID, suddenly when the market again started, everything was booming, yeah. right? Like a property comes, it already have like 50 showings. You cannot get any slots in over there, right? And then coming to this time where the properties are staying on the market, at least through the weekend, right? And um, you can go through at least two showings if you want, uh, but still, you know, uh, you might get into multiple offer scenario. Yeah. And then with, you know, with chat, GPT, AI integrations, like, you know, coming from that online thing, I think it has that online business of real estate has just been evolving. Yeah. Tell me how you're using that in your business. It's been fun, you know. <laughs> <laughs> it's been fun. Do you do your Sometimes. own social media? I, I do. Do we handle yes. it all? Yes. Okay. Yes. Okay. So yes. it makes it more effective and efficient for you it, probably. It, it does. And you know what? I was actually listening to another podcast where, you know, um, it was about like as a solo agent, because I'm still a solo agent, right? Uh, or as a business entrepreneur, right? There are so many aspects to the business, right? Yeah. You are the CEO of business. You have to go and find your you know clients clients yeah. right then you have to market yourself then when those clients come in you have to you know either photograph them or show them houses write contracts for them and in between still you want to showcase your presence right like there is so much as a business entrepreneur that you do right and uh, things have just been evolving with that right so like and i don't like in between virtual assistants mm -hmm. i think they are they still have an impact but i think with ai integrations and with chat gpt like you know sending something to them instead of just typing in what exactly you are looking for yeah i think that i i mean that has changed yeah the way i work where you know like literally it's I love my virtual assistant, but still, like, e e there are things that even after going through the virtual assistant, you had to do it yourself, right? Yeah. Because you just want to control everything, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you're right. And so now, like, your virtual assistants can really be used for different tasks. Right, exactly. Instead of maybe the older task that now chat GPT and AI components can yes, handle for you. Yes, so. Yes. Either it's the same VA or a different VA with different skill sets that can now help you do different pieces of your business. Right. Exactly. Exactly. That's awesome. Yeah. I love that. <laughs> so in terms of like kind of looking forward into the future for your business as a real estate agent, what are some different things that you're wanting to get into from a marketing aspect or from a branding aspect? Um, okay. So from marketing aspect, I think like... YouTube mm -hmm. is something that I am really eyeing right now. I have these beautiful videos that I know it all started with YouTube videos, right? Mm -hmm. And then it transitioned into real, mm -hmm. like, you know, you just have 30 seconds to make that impression, yeah. right? And then I know like YouTube also have these shots right now, mm -hmm. right? But I like, I have this organic, following on social media but then my youtube but like you know google ranking is going up but then youtube is where you know i really want to focus uh growing my real estate business and um, you know like going forward as as we talk about marketing and social media yeah 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 no that's smart because um the people that were on youtube five, 10 years ago, and they've been consistently posting. Uh, right. There's only right. a handful in our area that have been doing that. And uh, right. now you see it really has paid off for those people. Uh, right, so, right, exactly. So yeah. that's good, but that's your... And then again, you know, coming back to like, you know, how much can you do? Do. I know. Right. And then I I know I spoke to a couple of other companies. They, yeah. they help you out with social media, but nobody is... Like, I'm looking for somebody like, you know, okay, this is here it is. Take it and just do it, right? Yeah. This, like, it's still like you have to tell them 
what do you want and all that stuff and then you get client calls you have to write contracts yes. you have to show them houses so <laughs> yes. yeah yeah i know that's something that we're going to be releasing in the future because that's a big need that we see a lot of people have where we're going to help our clients create a full year of social media content videos youtube videos as well as shorts but it's going to be done over the span of one to two days Right. Right. Yeah. Like everything yeah. is done for you. You just show up for those two days. We film everything. We edit everything. Yeah. And then oh, we schedule wow. it out Amazing. for you because yeah. that's another thing is we used to do it where they come in monthly, but they're busy, but, yeah. you know, so, know, <laughs> so they right. couldn't stay consistent because yeah. they're like, I have to reschedule this month. I have to reschedule this month. So I'm right. like, you know what, let's right. just knock it all out and just be super efficient with our yeah. time. So, yeah. And I get so it. far, and again, the same thing with my reels, like, you know, you show up yeah. on time, block of that time, and, um, you know, carry your shirts around That's with you. Right. So. you can change. Yeah. And, all of and yes, right. And yeah. then you feel like, okay, you know what? You have been there a couple of days and you've been doing this regularly. That's that's the yeah. easiest way it's, of doing it. I totally yes. agree. So tell me a little bit about family life balance. How does that go in for you? Uh -huh. Not family life, wait. <laughs> family work balance. There we go. It's tough. It's, it is really tough and uh, I have a 12 year old, mm -hmm. you know, so he's get, he's getting into that teenage, now teenage boys, oh my God, you know. Yeah, I've got, I've got a 12 year old myself, so I get it. <laughs> Everything is like, why am I here? What am I doing here? What is this? Right, yeah. you know. And then I have my daughter who's going to be five in December, so there's a difference yeah. in the age, right, where when one is literally going through his teenage things, the other one just lights up yeah. your mood with, you know, So we know things. who the favorite is. No, I'm kidding. <laughs> I'm kidding. Yes. <laughs> and I think my son knows that. <laughs> but, uh, but I always tell him, like, you know, you have not seen, like, and this is what my husband tells him, that yeah. if you think your mom loves your sister more that isn't true because your mom has not done anything what she used to do it for you yeah, that's right <laughs> so but anyways no it has been tough but um i'm uh, very grateful for my husband you know yeah. like i think as a business entrepreneur whether you are doing real estate whether you are doing anything right like it's very difficult to keep a track of time and yeah. especially how real estate is like you know there are properties um, that come on the market, the inventory has been really low. You have to act on that. You might go to showing maybe like, say, 11 a.m. Yeah. And, you know, your clients say, okay, well, think about that. And uh, there's a possibility at 6 p.m. They are like, you know what? This is the house. We want to write an offer. Yeah. And then, you, you know, you have already done your background work and all that. And then the agent suddenly takes you, sends you a text that, hey, 9 p.m. is the deadline. There's no dinner. Like, you know, you are not at the dinner yeah. table because this is important. But then I think I have really learned how to set boundaries in my business and how to manage expectations. So until and unless it's really important, like I have a closing tomorrow or, you know, my clients went on a contract or my client, if I'm representing the sellers, if they have accepted a contract, then I know like, you know, initial first few days are important because we have these you know, these contingencies so, yeah. and all that stuff. But apart from that, I have started managing my time by just time blocking it. Like, I don't answer calls after like 6 p.m. or 7 p.m. Um, I can go to voicemail. I have come to realize that I'm not a doctor. Mm -hmm. So but nothing how, is going to happen to them if I'm not going to pick up the call. But how about a therapist? Are you a therapist? <laughs> <laughs> I, I, I am a therapist, right? I, I am a therapist. But, like, nothing is going to yeah. happen. It's not like, you know, life-threatening emergency that I really need to put my kids and my family yeah. 
on the back burner and attend this. But I do understand that there are timelines. Like if I have a closing early morning mm -hmm. and my client is calling me, then I mean, uh, there's something going on. Yeah. <laughs> right. Yeah. And uh, I think it just comes from a weather that, you know, you, you have to time block it. It can get crazy. It can get crazy. Yeah. Sometimes. So, what's one yeah. of the hardest challenges that you went through as an agent? Like what's a crazy story that you learned a lot, even if you didn't win that thing, it was like a great lesson for you. Um, there have been many great lessons. See, for me, it has it has not been an easy road, right? Like, uh, I know for some people, they they come to real estate, right? They they just start. For me, it was it was not easy. Like you know. Um, Okay, we talk about being persistent, continuous, consistent, all that stuff. One thing that I keep on reminding myself is, and I think that is a lesson that I would always incorporate, like you have to be really hungry, you know, to get to that level. If, if like, you know, ignite that passion within. If it's not there, right, it's the same thing, like, you go to the gym, you show up, uh, half the battle is won. But yeah. if you it's like eighty percent of the battle, won, right? <laughs> right, which is good. But like till one year, if you just keep on going there and just yeah. show up and do nothing, then you know you are not seeing changes. Yeah. But you know to see those changes, to see that growth. You like, you know, there has been struggle. I, I was doing door knocking, you know, yeah. or even like for open houses, I would go and invite neighbors and I would have these doors shut on my face. Or you will hear that people are there. They are seeing you from their window. Right. But they do not want to open the door because I'm a stranger to them. But like after every no. Or like, you know, when the when you're going through the tunnel, there's darkness, but at the end of the tunnel, there's light. So you just have to keep on going. You just have to keep on going and always remember, like, you really have to be hungry and, you know, um, like, you need to have that. One thing is, oh, I can do this. Or, you know, um, like, you know, as I train like newer agents, I, I always tell them, okay, you are doing this open houses, you are doing this, you are doing this, right? Everything is good. You are doing what it takes to be a good, successful agent in real estate. But how hungry are you? Yeah. Right? So that ignites that passion. <laughs> That's right. Because a lot of times it's the late nights, especially in the beginning, it's really making those decisions of like, where are you spending your time, that extra hour a day or two hours a day? And, right. and it's easy to say, okay, it's five o'clock, it's time to shut things down. Not five o'clock, because I know agents usually work different. Uh, right, frame, right. But it's like, yeah. okay, I put in my eight hours today, so I'm done. Uh, right. Versus like, especially at the beginning, it's like, no, 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 you're putting in like 12 hours sometimes. Uh, right, yes. Because yes. it needs to be done uh, if right. you're going to hit that. Right. Yeah. No, I know like, you know, so when I go to these parties or when I meet new people, I know some people say, oh, oh, so you are in real estate. Oh, that means you have a very flexible job. And I'm like, yeah, very flexible <laughs> where we don't even get time to eat our lunch. So yeah. I've taken a few videos that I've posted on my social media that, hey, like, you know, sometimes like you are in between appointments and I'm yeah. dying because I need to eat something and I've taken sandwich and I'm still driving. Yeah. And I'm eating that sandwich in the car. One hand on the wheel, the other one is trying right? to like, Yes, <laughs> yes, exactly. And that is, and that is the true, the reality yeah. of, I would say, not only real estate, but, you know, with any business entrepreneur. So yeah. I, I was, um, I was out for a small vacation with my family and I get a call from the seller and I'm already down with some nice bourbon and uh, you know and I have this nice music playing but it's a number and like you know it like my phone was on roaming so there's only one number that shows so mm -hmm. I just have to pick up the call you never know it's your extended family who is calling yeah. you or what so I pick up the call and then you know 
yes, I'm here. Yeah. Like, yes, please tell me, right? I'm a like, little bit drunk, but let's do this. <laughs> but, let's, but, let's, but let's do this, right? And she's like, okay, do you have men with, like, you know? And then I'm not telling her that I'm on vacation. Of course not. Yeah. I'm on this real estate conference, but <laughs> yes, <laughs> um, I'm coming back and I'm definitely there to take care of you. So, I mean, the grass is always greener on the other side. Mm -hmm. And this reminds me of one thing that I really want to share. I don't know how people can be, what people think about realtors, but, you know, we all are part of all the community groups on social media and all that. So... One of the community groups, I think one person posted that, hey, the price range here in Virginia it has just been increasing, right? So if you look at single family houses, like especially in Loudoun County with a little bit of yard, nothing is less than like a million dollar, yeah. right? So he's like, oh, if the realtors are selling like even two or three, just imagine like, you know, how much they're making. Mm -hmm. And I'm like, is that... That sounds easy, but is that that easy? If that is, then you get your license mm -hmm. and work as a realtor, mm -hmm. right? Then instead of looking what the other person is doing, because... Or criticizing it, it. Or criticizing it. And I think, like, because I consider real estate also as a service industry, right? It is. Like, how we go to these nice restaurants and just if they are busy... If the food was one time not good, you have this privilege to go on Google or, you know, to go on to these community groups and write a bad review for them. I think real estate is also that service industry that, hey, that person did not do their job well. So I'm just going to leave a review for you. But um, it is tough. Like, it's tough for everybody as an entrepreneur, I would say. And real estate is no different. Oh, yeah. Yeah, no, I agree. I think it is a, it's definitely a service industry. And I've worked with different agents. Um, and it, there's a vast difference in yes. how the relationships I've had with one agent versus another. So the first agent, I will never work with that person again. Yes. Right? Yes, because of, yes. of the service aspect of it yes. versus the second one, like just five-star treatment all around. And... It all comes down to right. the little and, things. And I always say, like, you know, strawberries, right? The same, like, you know, um, what's that? It starts with D, right? Whatever that is called. You get them at Costco. You can mm -hmm. go to Costco and buy them. Mm -hmm. You can go to Whole Foods and buy them. Yeah. But the ones at Whole Foods, it's the experience. It's the taste, yeah. right? It's the same thing. And no matter what, wherever you are in the world, what you pay for is what you get. Yeah. So, you know, I mean, this is a fact. Like, you yeah. know, how do you, how do you want to be treated, right? So that's, that, that is what, uh, you know, differentiates you from the other uh, people also in your business. That's true. True, totally agree. Yeah. <laughs> is there anything else you want to add? I think that was awesome. Um, is there any other thoughts, pieces of advice or? Pieces of advice, like, you know, um, in general, I, I are just talking about like, you know, for. For business owners for, who for are looking business. to start a business or have been in yeah. business. Yes, yes. I, I would just say like, you know, um, again, that what I said, like, be hungry for it, right? Like consistency, being persistent, that is all good, you know, but if that, that you know, that ignite from within has to be there to get to that level and follow your dreams, it, it will come. Like, you know, you really need to sleep with it, mm -hmm. you know, you really need to marry them you know yeah. <laughs> uh you you really need to nourish them you really need to feed them yeah. right it's um affirmations play an important role right like Here's a question do you think just last question do you think visual branding like the way you carry yourself the way you show up do you think that has a factor in that i i i strongly believe that i strongly believe that it does 
uh, because you know uh, you are already um, enacting something where you want to be so you know you are already perceiving that in yourself so i i'm a strong firm believer of that for sure yes Awesome. It does. Awesome. Thank you so much for being on the Alamon Show podcast. Oh, my pleasure. It was such a fun conversation.